Hello there. As we continue our discussion on the prayer initiative, wisdom for work or wisdom at work uh, is just the same thing. We thank God for how he has led us in the discussion so far. I cannot overemphasize the fact that the workplace, Christian workplace ministry is very, very sensitive. It's actually very delicate. Uh, the fact that we are in the workplace, but we are still working for the Lord Jesus Christ will attract the attention of the enemy, Satan and his agents. This is why much more than ever before, we need wisdom that comes from above, divine wisdom and wisdom that is above all things. That's why we, on this initiative, we just want to look at so many things, primarily at, at particularly at the beginning of uh, when you're establishing a fellowship or as the process goes on in terms of the things to pay attention to and pray about. That's why I've been emphasizing the fatherhood of God as, as, as an essential factor to understand and to pray for deeper understanding for every member of the fellowship. Because understanding the concept of the fatherhood of God will bind us together. We know that we belong to the same father in heaven, whether you are white or black or green or yellow, we know that it's one father, whether you are a Baptist or Methodist or Catholic or whichever denomination you belong to. And that binds us together because we need this strong bond if the, if the Christian groups in the workplaces will grow the way God wants them to grow. God needs us particularly in this season. He wants his kingdom to come in the workplace. He wants his perfect will to be done in the workplace. And these are the things I believe we need to be praying into our praying about. It, this is not an administrative assignment. This is a spiritual assignment, although it's been done in the workplace. So as, as, we, as we proceed or as we start off new groups and as we continue with the groups we are into, let us be mindful and pray that the good Lord will continue to grant us grace to line up with Psalm 133, which says, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren, brothers and sisters dwell together in unity. That unity of purpose is so important. We believe in one God. The principles in the Bible are the same for us, the, whichever denomination you belong to, and we should not think denominationally. We should think as children of God who believe in the word of God to guide us in all that we do. That's one of the major things I, I believe the Lord will want us to pay attention to. Because when we talk about inclusion, which is so important in the workplace, apart from in the church, if we are not reflecting those things as children of God, we, can, we won't be able to preach. We will not be able to demonstrate. We will not be able to show others the way it works. I pray the good Lord will continue to help each of us so that as we pray one for the other, these issues will become clearer. We will be able to go before God for help and the good Lord will continue to help all of us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm.